and uh, you said you were going to finish one round uh, in the first round. Job done tonight? Yeah, job done. You know, I uh, feel like it was a good performance. You know, everything went as planned, and you know, on to the next one. You're asking for that bonus. Uh, do you think it's going to happen, and uh, how would you spend it? Uh, yeah, I think it should happen, you know, and if I got the bonus, I'd probably, first thing I'd do is invest it into my training, you know, uh, get high level training and uh, become a better fighter. Also, I'd like to maybe get out of the TriStar dorm, you know, I, I live there and I love it there, but, you know, it'd be good to have my own place. What's it been like training at TriStar? Oh, I love it there, you know, I, I, first time at TriStar was 2013, I've been living in the dorms now for over a year. Um, training, you know, I love it there, people are great and I, I'm improving every day. I just want to speak about the crowds and they gave you a good reception there tonight, even though the hometown boy lost. Uh, what was it like to fight out there and see him? Oh, it was amazing, you know, and the Irish fans, you know, they, they, they are the best in the world, you know. I've, this week I've had so much support from the Irish fans, even though I was fighting their uh, hometown guy and whatnot, it, you know, they, they, they're amazing. The match got pretty bloody pretty early. Were you at all worried about, you know, blood would get in your eyes and that it would somehow affect your performance? Uh, blood actually did get into my eye. We, we had an exchange and a, uh, some blood went into my eye and it kind of, my eye went blurry for a sec, but I wiped it out and uh, back to business. But nothing that, you know, affect, like... No, nothing, nothing. Tom, it's the race for the first English champion, you know, in the UFC. You've definitely thrown your hat in there. You know, depending on results elsewhere tonight, Nicholas Dolby fighting another Englishman in Darren Till. Could that be a potential big fight for UFC London, at, you know, to help the race for the first English champion? Uh, yeah, if the UFC want me to fight Darren Till, you know, obviously he's got a tough fight. Um, you know, I think the UFC will probably go down the route of, you know, English, the English fighters versus the, the rest of the world and, you know, I, I think at the moment I'd, more, I'd, like, I'd rather fight a uh, guy from outside of England just, just for the fact that, um, you know, I'd only like to, because they're my fellow countrymen and I'd like to, I'd like to fight an Englishman and say if he was up there for the, for, for, when I'm closer to the top, you know, I'm still only my second fight in the UFC, but if they, if they said that it was Darren Till, I would never say no, you know, I'm confident against anyone. Have you got anyone else in mind? No, you're so close after a fight, I was just thinking about uh, Pendred, so, you know, uh, Pendred was the one that I was thinking about fighting, and now that's the job done, I'll have to think about who's next. Was it a tough week, but obviously Joe having to pull out of the fight, you know, you're his teammate, so psychologically, any, any problems, any issues with the team? Yeah, I was very disappointed for Joe, you know, he's, he's worked so hard, you know, especially for it to be the last day of training camp, you know, he, he trained all, all the way through, you know, and uh, I was di very disappointed for him, but, you know, I've got to stay focused on my, my fight, you know, it was, a, it was a big fight for me, this was. It was relatively one-sided. Like he didn't really seem to like crack you or like really stumble you at all. Like were you expecting it to be that dominant? Yeah, I, mentally I was prepared for the worst, you know. So uh, you know, mentally I was preparing to be in, in bad situations and getting out of bad situations. But I came out and uh, I controlled the distance. And you know, my training was was uh, better than his, I believe, and that's why I won because my training was superior. You mentioned that you want to fight on the London card after the UFC missed out on London this year. Can you just describe what it would mean for you to be able to fight in London in front of your home country? Yeah, it'd be great, you know, and you know, going back to, you know, the Eng England don't really have any stars, you know, the, the UK, and I, I'd like to be one of the guys that, you know, makes the country proud. Why do you think that is? Why do you think England doesn't have stars? I'm not sure, it's just timing with things sometimes, you know. Bisping was uh, done, done amazing, Dan Hardy, you know, he, he fought for the title. You know, and uh, I believe next next time I, I think it will be me. You know, I'll be the next one, and I'll be the big big name. I believe. Do you think it's a new wave coming through now in England? You know, yeah. We've seen a lot of guys coming up. There, there's a new wave. There's a lot of great talent. You know, there's Scott Askham, Darren Till, Arnold Allen's coming through. You know, he's at TriStar now, so we got some great guys. There was a lot of talk of you and Carl fighting over the years, even in Cage Warriors. I think you were scheduled to fight yes. in Bahrain. Yes. Is it good to finally put it behind you and move on, or? What, what, what you're talking about? Yes, definitely. It's good to put it behind me, and uh, you know, I think the way I've done it as well. He doesn't get stopped, you know. He's got a great chin, and I went out there and I, you know, I, I, I took him out in the first round. So I think that was impressive. How will you celebrate this win? Uh, I'd probably just uh, enjoy my food, and you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't wait to get back into the gym, tell the truth, and, and get back to training. I might go to New York and do some training as well soon. So you know. There was some talk about you being over 200 pounds. Is that correct? Did you get up to 200 pounds? I got up to 196, wow. so yeah, I, I, that, this was the biggest uh, weight I've ever put on, you know, I, I'm walking around it like 210 pounds sometimes, I, I'm, a, I'm a big guy for a while to wait, so m my future one day might be at 185. So what do you think of Pander's performance tonight? Pardon? What do you think of Pander's performance tonight? You know, I, f I feel like he, he hasn't really improved over the years that much, you know, he, he's gotten by on a... 
his uh, desire to win. And uh, out there, you know, he showed his toughness. I think a lot of guys, if I would have cracked him like that and I dropped him, they would have just backed down. I think I broke his nose and he kept fighting. I cracked him with some heavy shots and he kept going. You know, he's a warrior and I, I respect him. Are you going to be going back to Birmingham after the fight now? <sighs> I want, I want to go to Birmingham before the end of the year, but I've got some training plans. Um, you know, as long as I come out of this fight injury-free, I had some plans in training, so I need to, I'm going to go back and get back to training.